All right, you ready? Let's begin. We'll begin with breathing, presencing, activating courage. presence. <clears throat> Welcome to whoever is here. This is for you. And it's for me too. But I am doing a prayer in freezing cold water for you. For myself, for all of humanity, for the animals, for the plants. And if I can inspire one person, even just one person, to put one toe in cold water from watching this video, then it's worth it. Actually, it's worth it even if no one watches. Because I'm reducing inflammation. So the, the cancer, the tumor, it's all connected. So every condition, every disease, so my intuition has some connection with inflammation. So I'm doing my best to reduce the inflammation, activate higher frequencies of love, so this is a prayer for you. I'm in an uncomfortable position in cold water. I am using my mind to relax the body. Thanks, Chris, for being here. Okay, I'll bring the camera closer. All right, so I'm going deeper into practices, fighting for my life with love, the deadliest form of cancer that I've heard of. Glioblastoma. So this, this practice is for me, and it's for you. So I, I'm praying that... Oh, this is cold. Um, I'm praying that my experience can bring positive energy to your life. So I haven't been able to safely be in cold water for 13 months. Well, actually, maybe two weeks ago, I was able to start. I wasn't even able, able to stand up like six weeks ago after the surgeries. I could barely stand, couldn't walk, extreme pain, tumor regrowth, inflammation. Doctors literally told me there's no hope. Hey, Bonita, thanks for being here. So this is a deeper practice that I'm doing. Freezing cold water. Very cool. So we have to find, sorry if it sounds like I'm screaming, I'm just trying to talk louder than the water. Um, so I'm doing this practice for myself and also for you. I am praying that you can experience miracles in your life the way that I've experienced miracles. I've experienced more pain in the past 13 months. Thanks for being here, Bonita. Um, so a lot of pain in the past 13 months, a lot of challenges, and for the first time, this whole past 13 months, instead of everything getting worse and more pain every day, there's slight improvements every day. So I'm trying to make the most of every day. I'm also trying to remain humble. 
I'm also trying to remain strong. Hey Chris, thanks for being here. So this is the first time that I'm attempting, we'll see how safe it is, but attempting to let the freezing cold water go up towards my chest. It hasn't been safe. I've only brought my feet in, the ankles, sat in the legs covered in cold water, and it felt like if I let the water go up to my chest, it would be too much stress on the body. It could aggravate a seizure or it could just be very, um, activate like a cramp or something. So, <clears throat> so we got just a little bit longer, then I'll turn off the water and then we'll go from there. So thank you everyone for being here. Let me know, is it morning where you are? If, if, if everyone can type in the comments, is it morning where you are? And if so, let me know what time it is. Hey Peter, thank you so much for your prayers and your support. I have some good news. Ooh. Got some music in the background, got some good vibrations in the foreground, got lots of earth angels here, which is you and me. I mean, let's not forget, where did we come from? You know, it's like, one of the worst things that could happen is to, to, to think that the stuff that's happening is normal the disconnection from nature. I mean, the brain cancer that I have, is that normal for a human being to have? I don't think so. Okay. All right, so it's whatever time you said it is, 12.30. Um, So this prayer is that you, yes you, can take little steps in a big positive direction, just as you are. This is not about showing anyone what we're doing, or impressing anyone else, or doing what you're doing for anyone else. You're doing it because your heart calls you to. So, together we can let go of some of the fear. What created my brain tumor in the first place? You could say fear. And then that fear manifested in many forms. Running away from myself, sometimes quite literally. <laughs> like, run away from responsibilities, from opportunities. Um, so then what's the cure? Love. That's always the cure. And then who knows how that love will manifest. Maybe you'll find the best doctor in the world. Maybe you'll find a healer or whatever. You'll, but it starts with love. So I'm doing my best to practice that. That's why I'm doing these practices, not because I want to live forever, or, you know, I want to have, perfect everything, so, I'm praying that you can take small steps that will turn into positive momentum in your life. I haven't been able to take a freezing cold bath since I was in Hawaii 
in July 2019. In the community, we literally had a chest freezer filled up with water. And then we would turn it on and there would be a ring of ice around the top. And I would sit in it. First I would do some breathing and then I would go in and <clears throat> continue the breathing. Sometimes five minutes, sometimes ten minutes. But I haven't been able to do that since the brain surgeries, the head surgeries. So welcome everyone who's here. I'm sitting in ice cold water and I just poured in ice in the water. Well, there's still some... I know, I'm kind of... <laughs> it's so cold. Check it out. <laughs> it has holes in it. <clears throat> See? I don't want to get water all over. Isn't that cool? Pun intended. See? <clears throat> so I wasn't able to do this even two weeks ago. Isn't that pretty amazing? Your prayers are helping me, quite literally, stay alive and heal. So thank you. Like This is not pretend or imagination or some hippie philosophy, but... Your prayers are helping me live and heal. And prayers, what is a prayer? It could be as simple as one thought. So again, check it out. This is a nice ice with holes in the bag. <laughs> Somebody said, E3, you are cool. Well, actually, I'm cold. <laughs> So, um, again, check it out. Well, that's an end of a bag, but cold water is coming out of the ice right now. So let's make the most of our time. We have all these alignments in the planet. We have extreme fear in the planet. And we can transmute and leverage these energies to our benefit or our advantage, to your soul's advantage. And I'm trying to do my part with the, the pain, the hole in my head. Hey, Katie. I'm so grateful to know you. Well, I don't really know you because I'm sure you've turned into like a beautiful butterfly by the by this time since we last saw each other, but I still feel like we're friends. So what I'm doing here is, check it out, Katie. This is ice bag. It's freezing cold water. <laughs> it's so cold. Okay, so why am I sitting in an ice cold bath? With good music on. Because it's fun. No, because I, get, I was in the hospital. There was an infection that went into my skull. Nearly went into my brain. That's why they had to cut out a section of my skull. And that's my abdomen on my head. So here's a question for you. Do I call it a headache or a stomachache? If you answer correctly, you get a prize. Anyone? So, I was in the hospital, seven weeks of antibiotics to heal the, the infection. And while in the hospital, the left side of my body started to get more numb and weak. So they did another MRI and there, there was a new tumor regrowth in September 2020. And they couldn't do surgery because they just did surgery. They can't do surgery now. It's not safe. They can't do radiation to kill the tumor because of this healthy tissue. If they do radiation, it's going to kill the healthy tissue. And under there, it's just my brain. Hey, Barbara, thanks for being here. I'm sitting in cold water. 
with ice, which I haven't been able to do in like 14 months since I was on Hawaii. So this is actually a, uh, a success for me in a positive direction. So my point in sharing all of this is that after I got out of the hospital on October 22nd, the left side of my body felt like it was going to get paralyzed. I couldn't even, I couldn't touch the fingers together like I can now. This is my left hand. The camera's flipped. This is my right hand. This is the right side of my head. So I couldn't even touch my fingers together, let alone hold something, let alone like reach up like this. I can reach up now. So I realized there's so much inflammation that the doctors weren't addressing. They just said, take steroids and you're good to go. They just said, take chemo, you're good to go. They said, we can't do anything for you. It's incurable, your condition, because you have the bone cut out, the skin graft, and there's a new tumor growth. We can't do anything right now. So you can go to hospice care and we'll give you a comfortable death. He didn't say that, but he said you go to hospice care and we'll make it as comfortable as possible. He was nice, the doctor. And it, it literally was that close to being dead and going to hospice care. I was like, this close. We were trying to find every hospice care we could, but they wouldn't take me because I was too young. And same for assisted living. They said, no, you're too young. You don't qualify. This is just for older people. And plus, I told them I, I have a specific diet, so I can't go any place that won't let me have the foods I need because I'm allergic to gluten. So thank you for everyone who is here. I'm sitting in ice cold water. So, hey, Jessica, thank you so much for being here. The point in me doing this right now is to reduce inflammation. And also the point in me making this live stream is that if I can benefit even just one person, then it's worth it. So my experience, you could say it's a death rebirth portal. That's how I view it. It's been like a death experience the past 13 months of pain all the time, every day for 13 months. Sometimes intense pain, sometimes very intense shaking on the ground, crying pain. That's why I've been documenting things in real time, not waiting until everything's perfect or healed, but showing the journey, showing the journey in real time. And it's not about being positive or hopeful. For me, it's about being authentic. So if I'm going to be in pain for another year and challenges, then that's what I'll share. If I'm going to feel better every day and there are going to be miracles, I'll, I'll share that. So my heart is calling me to use the pain and challenges to bring positive energy to my own life, and if I can, to other people's lives. So maybe this morning, you'll be inspired to think of how you can reduce inflammation. It can't hurt anything. If you do it consciously, try to think about how can I reduce inflammation? It will help every area of your life. So check it out. <clears throat> That's an enema bag, but see, it's ice. with cold water coming out. I mean, it's a very interesting thing. What if the, these ice baths are actually more effective at reducing the inflammation than the steroids? I'm still taking them each day just to be extra safe in every area of my life, but also even for the brain cancer. I mean, what if ice cold baths actually help the brain cancer more than chemo? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I have an MRI today, so we'll see the status. And then we'll have three recent MRIs to um, see the progression. So it's a good day because the doctors wanted to start chemo a few weeks ago, higher doses of chemo. They said you need to start chemo now, higher doses, so the tumor doesn't regrow. That was a few weeks ago. But my intuition told me to wait and that I should get a new MRI 
have a clearer picture of what's happening with the inflammation. Whew, this is cold. It's good. Have a clearer picture of the inflammation. Have a clearer picture of what's happening with the tumor. Take in the data. Breathe. Listen to my intuition. And then make a decision from there. So today is the MRI. If the tumor is growing a lot, I'll have to take everything into account. Maybe I will do chemo and I'll heal that way. Maybe I won't do chemo and I'll heal that way. But first, getting as much data as I can. And in the meantime, sitting in freezing cold water or laying down. So it's worth exploring. How can you use the tools that you have now to reduce inflammation? Kind of hurts to turn my head too much. Enema bag for the wind. So I mean, really, what if, like, what if a big problem the past 13 months for me was the inflammation? Not just the tumor, not just the seizures and infection in the head, but what if inflammation was always there that wasn't addressed? And what if now the body has a chance to heal now that I am reducing the inflammation with cold showers, cold baths, cool thoughts? Um, so this is what I'm doing going through a little bit of healthy discomfort for the overall health of myself. Um, so thank you, Jessica, for being here. Thank you, Barbara, for your prayers. Thank you, Chris. Do you have a, Chris says, do you have a hot shower after bath? Uh, normally I don't. I just get out and dry myself and then put on warm or like dry clothes. Um, that's just what I prefer. I like to let the body temperature drop a little bit. But it is helpful to alternate between warm shower and cool shower. I mean, you can even just do it for your feet. Put your feet in ice cold water and it will feel amazing. You might be surprised at how it can make you feel in your mind and in your body. It's really amazing. You don't have to just jump into an ice bath. You can. Put your feet in, dip your toes in, pun intended. So that's what I'm doing here. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because, I don't know, this might be helpful. And part of what I'm doing is practices all day long. You could say I'm fighting for my life, but I'm trying to do so with happiness and a smile on my face. Check it out. There's holes in the back of my ice. <sighs> because I dropped it on the floor to break up the ice and it put holes in it. So now it's like, could have an ice shower. That's interesting, an ice shower. So I'm building positive momentum thanks to you. Yes, you, Terry, Chris, Jessica, Barbara, Katie, Chris again, Francesco, Heather, Sharon, Bonita, Linda, that's my mom. Linda means beautiful, I'm pretty sure. So that's why she's named Linda. So thank you everyone for your prayers. I'm praying that your prayers will come back to you infinitely. And imagine if your prayers have quite literally saved my life. That is really cool. So if we can save someone's life with a prayer, if we can improve someone's life with a prayer, what else can we do? Oh, so this is my intention originally. That's why I put on the live stream prayers for you. So I'm going to do a short prayer, if you're still here, for you. Thanks for being here, Jessica. Um, yes, we can heal ourselves. Plus, the body is so wise. I've been talking to the body. Like, the, the body... 
it's pretty amazing what it can do. The body is always trying to come towards equilibrium. It's constantly trying to heal, non-stop. It's constantly breathing. The body's heart is constantly beating. So what I like to do sometimes is go in the cold shower and pray for someone else. Because you know how like if the vacuum is on, it's harder to think with all that noise. And then you turn off the vacuum and you could like think clearly. Similar with a cold shower. If you're in the cold, sometimes it's hard to think. So it's like training for the mind. So I go in the cold shower and sometimes I'll say a prayer for someone while in the cold shower. And if I could do it in the cold shower, uh, then when I'm not in the cold shower, it's a little easier, if that makes sense. You could do the same thing. Like if you're in a yoga posture, try to say a prayer for someone when you're in a challenging yoga posture. These are some of the practices that I do. And of course, you could add other things, like when you're in a cool shower, you could try to relax the breathing. <sighs> All right, so I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to begin to pray for you. Just a short prayer. I'm asking my angels to bring you lots of love, support, positive momentum in all areas of your life, guidance from your heart, guidance from your mind, guidance from your body, that together we can create greater levels of health, abundance, prosperity, creativity, mutual connection with the earth, with each other, Love coming into every area of our life as fears release, the energies we don't need release from our energy field, and that the love and prayers you've given me can come back to you infinitely. With God's grace, with nature's support, and with blessings beyond what the mind can imagine. And may the love that you've given me come back to you in many, many ways. With God's love and support, may it be so. Sometimes it's nice to listen to music when you're in the shower, if you have that option. Or in a bath, because the vibrations of the music will interact with the vibrations of the water. Plus, it'll interact with the vibrations of the water in your body. So that's why I'm listening to music too. There were months where literally I could not speak this loud. I could not listen to music. It was literally painful. It hurt my head so much. It even hurt at times to think too much. It was painful for months on end. So... Does anyone have any questions, anything you'd like to share? Interesting, there's something in the back. Any, any questions, anything you'd like to share? I guess it's possible in my next head surgery, which will be my fifth head surgery, who knows what will happen. I'm putting out the positive energy and trusting God is uh, um, guiding everything, but who knows, maybe I won't come back into the body. That's possible. Maybe I'll leave and I'll upgrade and then... I'll come back into the body. I have no idea. I guess there's a little fear about the head surgery, but I'm making it a practice. <sighs> Preparing for my fifth head surgery. Hey, Jasmine. Thanks for being here. I'm in a cold bath with ice cold water. <sighs> Lowering a little bit deeper. 
Thanks, Jasmine, for being here. Chris said, do you have a date for surgery? Are you doing Wim Hof method? Well, I used to do that every day. But since having brain surgery, it was too painful to do, to breathe in deeply. Even now, if I breathe in too deeply, all the pressure goes to the head. So I really have to focus on the exhales. And relaxing. But yeah, the Wim Hof method, it's awesome. It's not a perfect system, like no system is perfect. We don't always want to be breathing in through the mouth, like in the Wim Hof method. You know, because our nostrils have certain... I'm not a doctor, but our nostrils have certain, like, filters, you could say, when we breathe in. I guess I have lots of filters with a big Jewish nose. So that's why it's important to breathe in through the nose because there are those like filter things. I don't know what they're called, nose hairs or certain things in the nose that filter the air. If we just breathe in through the mouth, it's different. Both are beneficial. Like if we run, it's okay to breathe through the mouth, obviously. But the Wim Hof method, it's from what I've seen, it's breathing. Yeah, you can adjust the method. That's where we're at now in the world. No time for uh, perfection, no time for rigidity, but make everything work for you. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, so somebody asked a question. When is my next surgery? I don't even know if it's going to be possible. Like, they don't know if they can do the surgery safely. They can't do it safely now. So it might be a few more months. And first, I have to... Yeah, Angela, I'm in a bath with cold water and ice because after the head surgeries and the chemo and radiation and all these um, antibiotics, there's been so much inflammation in the head and brain and in the body that was not being addressed. So no amount of drugs, no amount of steroids, no amount of surgeries, no amount of chemo, no amount of antibiotics can replace cold therapy. And I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner, but I realized one day how much of an issue the inflammation was. Not just the glioblastoma and tumor, but the inflammation. So it's like, was it the inflammation pressing on the nerve, causing numbness and almost paralysis on the left side of the body? Or was it the, the tumor? I guess I'll find out today. I have an MRI today. Hey Anu, thank you for being here. I'm sitting in a cold bath with ice cold water, or ice. The ice bag is empty now, but actually no, it's not empty. There's still ice cold water. There's holes in the, there's holes in the ice. Yeah. There's holes in the bag of ice. So it's like an ice shower. So what I'm doing here, I'm not just doing these videos to like show people what I'm doing and look cool, pun intended, but because I'm quite literally in a fight for my life while the world is in a fight for its life, and I figure if I'm going to be doing all these practices and prayers, there's no way at all that I'm going to remember everything that I'm doing. So I want to share it in real time. Plus, who knows what will happen tomorrow. So I want to share the practices. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you so much for being here. So, Jennifer, check it out. It's ice with holes in it, so it's freezing cold water. Um, so yeah, I'm doing practices each day on two, two ways. To release the old energies, and then also create beautiful energies. So the old energies manifested in the form of a tumor, pain, seizures, many other things. But also, I don't think we came here just to let go of fears and, and heal, per se. I don't think that's why we came to this planet, just to heal and to release fears and to, you know, 
let go of old energies. I think we came here. How long do I stay in this bath? I don't know. How long is this video? I don't know. I'll stay here all day. Just sit in the ice. Hmm. That's an idea. Thanks, Rebecca, for being here. Um, so I'm hoping that I can inspire you to at least take one step in a positive direction. I'm kind of forced to, you could say. I'm choosing to, but my situation is so intense. And this didn't just start yesterday or a week ago. If you can imagine being in pain for 13 straight months, it's pretty intense, let alone very intense stuff. Like my apartment burned down on August 8th. By the way, if you're in Eastern Daylight Time, in a few seconds, it's going to be 8.08. So yeah, synchronicities align when we release some of the fears and move into who we are. We start to see signs from the universe. Hey Diana, thanks for being here. Um, I'm trying to make these videos um, productive. Like, I don't want to just sit here and rant and nothing happens. I want you to experience positive energy in your life. So that's why I'm sitting in the ice bath. Normally I sit in it just for a few minutes because there's been so much pain. But now I'm able to lower my body deeper and stay in longer. I wasn't able to do this a month ago at all. Even a month and a half ago, I couldn't even stand up, let alone walk. The left side of my body was getting paralyzed because of the inflammation. So since getting out of the hospital on October 22nd, it's 8.08, make a wish. I'm focusing on reducing inflammation and it's helping. I can reach my left arm up. I couldn't do this even a week ago. I couldn't do this without extreme pain or danger. So who knows how far this can go. Maybe the tumor can be fully healed. Maybe it is fully healed. The doctor said it's not curable. Maybe it's fully healed today. Maybe it'll take a few more weeks. But I'm doing my best each day. Um, so yeah, when is the next surgery? I don't know. It could be in two months. It could be in um, three months. I have to see when it's safe to do the surgery. Because right now with the new tumor that grew and, and the skin flap, it's not safe to do the surgery. Um, so yeah, you don't have to do what I'm doing, sitting in ice cold water. You can go from warm to cool. That's it. And the body, it'll like the the it'll expand when you have the warmth and it'll contract so it'll create like a pump and move the lymph fluid and the uh, the blood circulation so um, so does anyone have any questions um, who knows what will happen in my life in your life so I'm trying to make the most of each day. My mind is very strong in my heart, but my body has been so weak and vulnerable. Um, I've had to be very um, humble. I'm wearing underwear, so you know, don't worry, I'm going to get out of the bath. Um, but I'd like to answer any questions that people have before we finish here. So what did I do this morning? I woke up. Every morning I wake up and I try to keep my eyes closed and present as long as I can. So I go back into the dream state and remember my dreams. <clears throat> and I want to share a dream with you in a few seconds. So if you could hang out a few more seconds. Um... kind of a cool dream. That I haven't shared with anyone besides the person who the dream was about. So we have to make the most of the technologies that are available. That's what I'm trying to do. I see it very clearly. Um, 
Facebook is going to shift. YouTube is going to shift. Who knows? YouTube might even start charging people to use YouTube. They're definitely censoring people more. But what we are doing, we're using the old energies to create the new world, you could say. So I want to share the dream that I had. I think I had the dream a few months ago. Um, so if anyone has any questions, um, and also these questions are important because some people with glioblastoma, brain cancer, watch my videos, and I want these videos to be helpful for them. You know, this is not just for me to entertain people or to even share my experience. I want it to be helpful for anyone who's in a worse position than me, which are, is a lot of people. Chris says, I, di I was diagnosed October 9th, 2017. My psychology degree has helped me a lot to try and work out what my life means now. I hope everyone can map their life and make the most out of life. Yeah. So I'm going to put on this shirt and then share the dream with you. Hey, Matt, thanks for being here. All right, so thank you everyone for who is here. Your prayers have helped immensely. Um, and I, I have no idea what will happen in my life. I mean, I could fully heal the tumor, and then I still need another head surgery, and who knows what will happen. Even one head surgery is... Uh, um, you know, pretty intense. Two head surgeries. That's a lot. Three head surgeries. That's a lot right there. Okay, three head surgeries. No problem. A fourth head surgery. Wow. Okay, all good. Yeah, it's good to be moving too. I mean... It's been so long of not being able to move, having to use a medical bed at home, having to use a walker and or a wheelchair. Um, so, hey Shawnee, good morning. And great work at starting now. Shawnee is making some upgrades in her life, such as bringing higher frequencies into her relationship with sugar, and it's a beautiful thing. She's doing great. And she's doing something that maybe is like even more challenging than what I'm doing. I mean, she has a partner and a child, and like, and she's making upgrades in her life. I couldn't imagine like my situation with a child and a partner. Like, I guess we all have challenges, so we're all here to support each other. And everyone's dreams are valid. And uh so the dream I had, it was, uh, I don't know when, maybe four or five months ago. See, I, I went to the Thai Yoga Center school, thaiyogacenter.com. It's an amazing Ayurveda school, a natural healing school. Um, it's a yoga school, Thai massage school, yoga psychology school. So many things are offered there. And I went there, I think I went when I was... 12 years ago, that's when I started, and I did many years of training, and I practiced Thai yoga for a long time, and coaching people, giving Thai body work, but because of a lot of fears and stress, and just like, I don't know, I guess discovering who I was, I stopped studying in the school, and I just kind of did my own thing, and focused more on massage, and just got out of the training in the school. I was teaching Thai body work, but I stopped doing the certification courses. But a few months ago, I had a dream of my teacher, Dr. James is his name, Dr. Anthony James. He's the head Achan, or the, the master of the school. So I had a dream with him in it. It was a very vivid dream. And it was like we were in a, it was like a, a, a highway. And on one side of the highway, there was like a field like a, uh, I don't know, corn patch or something, like a big field of some sort of vegetable. Then on the other side was the same thing, like a big field of some sort of plant. 
And it was like, Dr. James was helping me get from one side to the other. Very interesting. And I had the same dream two more times. And after the third time having this dream, I was like, okay. Hey, Ar Arlene, I was just in a bath of ice sharing my experience of reducing inflammation. So after the third time I had this dream, I was like, well, I have to contact Dr. James because there's something here to this dream. Like, I, I thought I never wanted to be part of the school again. I'm just going to do my own thing. But I feel like I should call him. And I feel like, I feel like maybe I can, it's not too late. I can re, I, I can refresh my certification trainings. I can re, like, I can, um, update everything in the school and I can continue to train as a healer, as a minister, as a uh, natural medicine doctor, and I can do this. So I called him up when I was in the hospital, uh, I think two months ago, and we spoke and it was very helpful. And he said, Ethan, you know, it's no problem at all. Like you just pick up where you left off and like, it's no problem. You're still part of the school. We still love you. We're praying for you and we fully support you. So they said that they want me to come to the school for a month-long intensive in May 2021. And they said, well, don't worry about how it's going to happen, but just put out the vision. You're going to come to the school in Florida in 2021. You're going to do the month-long training, refresh all of your training, learn more, and continue. And um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing online courses right now with the school. They, they offer... I don't know, it must be hundreds, if not more, online courses in Ayurveda, in natural healing, in uh, uh, different forms of breathing practices, different forms of yoga psychology, different forms of uh, Thai body work, obviously. So I'm really excited about that. Just wanted to share that dream with you. Um, so yeah. It's 818-818. Before we finish, does anyone have any questions or anything you wanted to share? Oh yeah, so Shawnee is doing her own practices. I'm doing my own practices. Hmm. Love you too, Jennifer. Thanks for your support. Jennifer has been an angel. She's given me Reiki and healing. She's come to my place where I live, and while in the hospital bed in my room, she's given me healing, and it's helped immensely. And since beginning working with her, I've been feeling a lot better each time she's seeing me, and now I don't even need the medical bed. I needed it to sit up when I sleep for the past few months. It was too painful in my head to lean back. So her work is amazing. Soon she's going to be so popular that she's only going to be able to, like, work with, I don't know, one person a day. I have no idea. I'm just saying she's great. So, um, yeah, so some of my practices, well, I woke up this morning, do prayers, meditation, um, and then really intensive enemas, start with water enema, clear everything out, and then do coffee enema to really bring health to the liver and the whole body. And I'm able to do a little bit of gentle resistance training. So I could do very gentle with my left arm curls and um, walking. Um, today I have an MRI. So I'm really going to get a clear picture of the progression of the tumor. Is it growing? Is it staying the same? Is it getting smaller? And same thing with the inflammation in the head. Is it growing? Is it staying the same? Is it getting smaller? Um, so I'm excited about that. And um, thank you all so much for your prayers and your support. It's helping. Um, so before I finish, does anyone have any questions? Anything that you want to share? No? Okay, well, thank you so much. I'm going to continue to do my soul's work continue to heal, to build up strength, to create art, music, dance, 
writing, offering healing work to people, creating these videos in real time, not waiting until everything's perfect, not waiting until the pain goes away, not waiting until something in the world changes, but doing what I can now to add positive energy to the world. Um, so thank you so much, and I look forward to sharing more.